I'm sure you have noticed how bad the performance is in Valheim. And with this new popular game, um, of course, we would want some better FPS since it is a under one gigabyte game in size basic. It's pretty fantastic. And I'm going to show you in this video how you can increase your FPS to get something more decent. And um, I will also point out uh, some other guides that won't actually give you any good tips. Like for example, if a guide shows you to go into NVIDIA control panel and turn on uh, maximum performance mode exam for example, or turn on maximum performance for textures, um, or turn on low latency mode, well uh, then I'd say you could stop watching that guide and uh, just disregard and don't care about any of the tips they give you because if they give you those tips, they don't really know what you're they talking about. I'm just going to tell you that if you put your NVIDIA card to maximum performance, it will always use as much power as possible all of the time. If you just use the preset mood, it will give you maximum performance when you need it and not use all the electricity when you don't need it. So that's why. Search it up, Google it if you don't trust me. But if a guide recommends you that, just ignore that guide. They don't know what they talk about. But anyways, I will tell you how to make your FPS a lot better. And, and, you, and as you can see now, my FPS is uh, 11, 10 and it's absolutely horrible. So we'll get out of this game and uh, well, let's go. First of all, we need to get you proper and real full screen. Navigate to your Valheim game, right click on it and select properties. On launch options right here, you will paste in or write in window mode exclusive, just like this. And that's all you need to do here. Now, do also keep in mind that uh, don't use Steam overlay, don't use Discord overlay, and don't use the Windows or Xbox game bar. Those things will draw your performance down. I do not I highly recommend you to turn off every type of overlay. Um, they do really make it worse for you with input lag and stuff. So Discord overlay, Steam overlay and also Windows Game Bar. Turn them all off and you'll have a better performance. Now we're going to check some graphical options. So uh, launch your settings. Inside the settings we go to System display and graphic settings here inside graphic settings you'll need to select the desktop app and browse now you need to navigate to your valheim exe file here which is of course inside of steam steam apps common valheim here and just click add under options you will select high performance NVIDIA and click save uh, and, or uh, if you have high performance AMD you select that and click save uh, of course uh, but if you do not have NVIDIA or AMD well then you don't need to do this setting at all right so some people may ask me about NVIDIA control panel uh, and I'd say it's uh, less important than most people think and many people give out wrong tips that are pretty useless. Uh, but uh, what is pretty useful is of course to drag this slider and use the advanced 3D image settings or make it be uh, with performance. It's usually better. So we can go like this and set performance. Then under Manage 3D Settings, you will make sure that the preferred graphics processor is your NVIDIA one. And uh, while I won't go through these uh, NVIDIA settings in detail, um, I will tell you this. Do a clean install of your NVIDIA drivers if they are a bit old. I can put a link in the description or you can find it on my channel on how to clean install NVIDIA drivers. This will reset the settings inside the media control panel and this will increase your performance probably because the, uh, the preset settings are pretty good and you can change, change them if you want. And 
here you can see on power management mode uh, many people set it to prefer maximum performance, but this will only make your power bill go up. What you don't want to do is set it to adaptive. Uh, you don't want to set it to maximum performance. Uh, so uh, optimal power is really the only option that's pretty decent because that gives you maximum performance when you need it. And other times it saves a little bit of power or a lot of power makes your system not overheat, for example. Uh, under quality, uh, you will need to set it to performance or quality. Do not set it to high quality and do not set it to high performance because people have done actual tests and found out that performance and quality have the same um, yield, basically. But a high performance and high quality gives you worse. It's a little bit strange. Now we'll go back to an additional tweak, which is uh, in the weird Steam settings, or rather in the game files. So go to the game and uh, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse. And here under Local Files, you can select the Valheim data folder. Find the file that is called boot.config, or just boot, and open it up with Notepad. And inside here, you will add two new lines, which is GFX enable GFX jobs one, GFX enable native GFX and jobs one. While in Valheim data, there is another thing we want to do. Go back one step and to the Valheim XE, right click on it and properties and compatibility. And then we'll check disable full screen optimization like this. And also, uh, you can run this program as an administrator. It helps with some other games. I haven't actually tried it um, for Valheim, but it usually helps with other games. So just check these two boxes and click Apply. So now when we have done this, we will start up the game again. And inside the game, we will take a look at in-game settings. All right. Now, when we are in the game, I'm going to show you the settings I think you should set for getting better uh, performance. So, uh, of course, we just go into settings here and we click graphics and you can just turn everything to low and uncheck everything. And this will uh, give you your maximum performance for the in-game settings. Uh, but remember that when you change that, uh, you also might need to restart the game since the VSync does uh, make it so that you need to actually restart the game for it to take effect. Uh, now, let's just go through these little settings a little bit. Now, vegetation quality I would definitely keep to low. Particle lights should also be on low for better performance. And shadow quality go to low, of course, as well. However, the draw distance, the level of detail, uh, while it will give you much better performance to keep it on low, uh, you might want to consider to keep it a little bit higher. Uh, it's namely so that uh, if you're hunting animals or something like that, uh, the draw distance for the animals will be uh, a little bit too low as well. So you'll actually have a problem seeing them. Uh, yeah, so I wouldn't keep this below medium, uh, probably high. If you can have it on high on low end systems, do it. All right, so here we have the settings. Bloom looks pretty nice, but um, it has a small performance impact. For most people, I think that Bloom should probably not affect your performance that much. SSAO, uh, it does so that the game looks less flat with shadows and such, but it does also uh, affect the performance quite a lot, so uncheck that. Sun shafts make the game look very beautiful with the lighting effects in this game, and it doesn't have that bad performance impact from my experience, so I would check that. Motion blur is, uh, well, motion blur. I don't know why anyone use it. Tessellation makes things look more 3D that aren't 3D uh, by a very cool effect, and it doesn't tax the performance so much, so I would keep it. Soft particles, I'd say you don't need this um, because, well, it makes the particle clouds and smoke and stuff look a little bit better, but it's not that important. 
Now, depth of field. Definitely uncheck this. It impacts the from, from it impacts the performance a lot while just making the game harder to play. Anti-aliasing. Uh, well, um, it makes uh, jagged edges look more smooth, but with a game with this type of graphic, I don't know why you want this. So I would uncheck this because it does tax the performance a little bit as well. Uh, chromatic aberration, uh, a light performance impact, but a really cool effect, so I want it. So this is the settings I would keep here. And just click OK. Now, however, there is another graphic settings that is a lot more important. And of course, you should have full screen. It should be forced full screen now anyways. But um, now, your display has a native resolution. Uh, thing is, if you lower this to like 720p, for example, when I have 1080, uh, and just click test and click OK and click OK. Well, the performance impact is pretty huge. So if you can suffer having a low resolution and play it on that, I would recommend you to do so because, uh, well, you'll get a pretty big performance improvement. Uh, yeah, so that's basically that. All right, so uh, now we are into the game again, and uh, unfortunately, this uh, resolution setting uh, it you know resets every time you restart the game. Um, but um, you'll just go in and set it like that. It's pretty easy. Uh, even if you force it uh, with Steam launch options, um, well, it doesn't work. You'll need to change it uh, every time. But uh, that's how it is right now. At least uh, you know this game is a little bit. Uh, alpha and in development so now there is one thing more uh, you can do which i wanted to show you and that is to hold control shift and escape and bring up your task manager under task manager and details <clears throat> right here you can find the valheim xe right click on it set priority and set it to high and uh, this will indeed increase your FPS a little bit, but uh, do also keep in mind that uh, you'll need to do this every time you start the game, unfortunately. Well, there we have it, how to increase the performance uh, in a proper way. And uh, do keep in mind that uh, this little full screen trick to force the game to be full screen, uh, it should give better performance, but I can't promise it actually works because it doesn't apparently have the support with DirectX 11 or uh, Windows 10. So, well, one thing is certain, it doesn't make anything worse at least, but um, <clears throat> like putting your NVIDIA card for maximum performance under power options, for example, that will make stuff worse. <laughs> Anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like and uh, do keep tuned for future video. Also, a fun fact about my character. I've named this female character Gunhild. And uh, the name Gunhild is a very suitable uh, name for a warrior viking. The name Gun uh, is uh, meaning war. And the name Hild is meaning battle. So Gunhild is basically war and battle uh, combined into a female name. Very nice. Anyways, thanks for watching. Do subscribe and keep tuned for future videos in Valhe. This is your host, Jim Edison, signing out.